professors get very nervous that their students have like a million TikTok followers and will take a, uh, you know, a little video of them and make them go viral for something bad that they said. So there's just a lot of fear, you know, fear of, of cancel culture. Uh, my name is Corey Clark and I'm at University of Pennsylvania in the psychology and management departments. And I'm the executive director of the adversarial collaboration project there, which is a sort of research endeavor where we are aiming to get um, enemy scholars to work with one, one another to resolve their empirical disputes. So uh, one thing that I study is censorship and self-censorship um, among professors and psychology professors in particular. And one thing I see is that most psychology professors support pursuit of truth and academic freedom, and they don't want to discourage research into any, even the most controversial conclusions. But there is a great deal of fear of uh, a small subset of sort of like activist peers and colleagues that really do want to interfere with pursuit of truth and academic freedom, often for like moral or political reasons. And I think because everyone is so f afraid to speak up for academic freedom, this small group of a scholars has disproportionate power and is uh, really intimidating the vast majority of professors into silence and making them afraid to pursue research questions that they find interesting and important. So, um, but they're also s students uh, can put a lot of pressure on professors, but I really do think that this is a small minority of people creating the fear and that we've given them more power than they really should have. I just think if, if professors had a little bit more courage and and we all spoke up together, we could solve the collective action problem and things would feel a lot better and we wouldn't be walking on eggshells. I think probably there are two things. One was um, a bit of frustration with how scholarly, the norms of scholarly, scholarly disagreement. Often you have these professors on competing sides of a particular issue and they're both experts, they're both admired by some subset of their peers, and they're bitter enemies, and they never work together, they never merge perspectives, no one's persuading anybody, and that just doesn't seem to be the way science is going to progress, I think, or progress. I think if we're going to build scientific consensuses, it's important for scientists to get together and get to the to the bottom of whatever their, their argument is about. So I really wanted to help scholars expedite <laughs> their, their conflicts, and, and, and form a consensus faster than the current mode. And then also I think I see scholars who pursue controversial conclusions kind of get ostracized and kicked out of academia, even though they have relevant expertise and ideas that would challenge mainstream perspectives. And I wanted a way to like bring those people back in. Heterodox Academy has kind of been in my orbit since I was a grad student. My values and goals have been aligned with the goals and values of Heterodox Academy since Heterodox Academy, Academy was founded. So there's a community of scholars here and we go to the same conferences, at like fire conferences, Institute for Humane Studies, Heterodox Academy. Um, and you see the same people at these conferences, but everyone's from completely different disciplines. So it's a cooler community than most conferences where everyone's just like, it's all psychologists or all political scientists. Um, here you get a lot more uh, diversity of expertise and you learn a lot more. My name is Corey Clark and I am HXA.